Hi, it's Miss Parrot, and in this video, we're going to be calculating the area of a petri dish covered by microbes. So, our class did a lab in which they went around and um, inoculated petri dishes and grew microbes that were found all over the school. And this is an example of the result. So, you can see that they inoculated a petri dish and it is now covered with um, some kind of bacteria, multiple species. You can even see a little dot of yellow up. Like there's this another species altogether hiding right there behind all this um, white fluffy cogs. So one thing you can do is you can estimate the percent that's covered, but then figure out exactly how much area, um, numerical area is covered. It's an estimation. But then from that, you can figure out how many different cells could actually be in that petri dish. So this video is going to go over that step. Um, if I'm given a certain percent uh, area based, and you can kind of see you could use a chart like this to guess, um, how do I go from that percentage to an actual um, like number? We're gonna work three practice problems. All right, so say for instance, we had a Petri dish and it was a small one like this and it was covered with uh, bacteria 20% of a 19.6 square centimeter Petri dish. So the first step is you turn this percentage from a percent into a decimal because you can't exactly put 20%, there's no like, percent button in here. So you have to figure out what that is. So you can either write 20% as a fraction, 20%, that means out of 100, and do that in your calculator and write 20 out of 100 and see that that is 0 0.2. So or you can know that if you have 20% and you can just move the decimal two places to the left, that's the same thing as dividing by 100. That would also give you 0.2. So step one, right, or step A, I guess, take your percentage and turn it into a decimal. And then, so 0 0.2. Anytime you see the word of, this indicates that we should multiply. So 0 0.2 of a... 19.6 square centimeter petri dish. So that's the total 19.6 centimeters squared, right? Because our goal, again, what we're doing is we're trying to figure out or estimate how much area is actually covered by microbes. And you just put this in your calculator 0.2 times 19.6 centimeters squared. That's going to give us, and we're we're using tenths. We're at the in the tenths party today, so two rounds down. So three point nine. Got to keep those units centimeters squared. So what we're saying here is that we estimate that about three point nine square centimeters are actually taken up of this petri dish. Let's try another one. So in this case, we have a larger petri dish. So we're saying about if about fifty percent of a 63.6 .6 centimeter squared petri dish is covered, how much area is that actually? Now there's a couple ways to do this. Some people know off the top of their head that 50% is the same as, that 50% equals one half. And so you could do one half, one half of, again that's multiplying the total 63.6 centimeters squared. And that's the same as just you divide by two. Because um, if you made that a fraction, it would look like this. Um, but you could do, sorry, let me bring this up. 63.6 divided by two. There we go, 31.8 equals 31.8. Um, so some people just know 50% off the top of their head, or you could do it the same as we did up here and make 50 over 100, So, because that's what percent means, out of 100, right, equals 0 
of 63.6. And of course, it's going to equal the same, 31.8. Or, right, if you have 50%, you can move it because it's 100. You move the decimal one, two places to the left for two zeros. That gives you 0.5, right, times 63.6 centimeter squared. Never forget centimeter squared. Centimeter squared. Yep. Um, centimeter squared equals 31.8. So you could do that any of those ways. All right. Now, what if, but th so this one's pretty easy because it's just half, and you could just divide that by two. But what if you have a really big, really big, really big Petri dish, and it is covered almost completely in, um, in E. coli, let's say, in E. coli bacteria. So let's do this one, and I'm just going to do it to where... I know I'm gonna just kind of move that decimal two places to the left. So 80% as a decimal is 0 0.8 of the grand total, which was 153.9 square centimeters um, equals, and I just wanna remind us, so what 153.9 square centimeters means is if I had a square that was a centimeter by a centimeter, I could fit 153.9 of them in here. That's what that means. All right, um, but I'm gonna use my calculator here and 0.8 times 153.9 equals 123 point, we're rounding to the 10th place, uh, 123.1, 123.1 centimeters squared. Right, which means that out of this whole petri dish, if I was just looking at the area that's covered by microbes, I could fit 123 centimeters squared uh, in that area. So that's how you do it. It's really simple. And what's great is now that we know the area covered by microbes, if we can figure out how big one microbe is, we can actually determine how many cells are covering these petri dishes which is going to be in the billions and millions hundreds of millions and billions so that's pretty cool i hope this helped